Hello, my friends. It's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? I'm so excited because it's Stash to Treasure Day. And that's hashtag Stash to Treasure, which is an open collab hosted by myself and my three friends, um, Helen from Moss Cottage, Susan from Susan Hiles Art, and Maria from Maria's Miscellany. So, yes, we're all um, hosting this collab in case you haven't heard of it and anyone can join in. Uh, there is a prompt list below in my description box if you'd like to jump in now, jump in anytime you want, and just do any of the the um, prompts that you would like. In fact, you can mix it up if you want. You don't have to do the prompts that we're doing this week. Uh, just, uh, you know, if you have something you want to do that um, it, where you're using your stash, or if you wanted to do one of the previous weeks, just go right ahead, because we love seeing your ideas. And that's, uh, well, the main point of this uh, collab is, you know, to use your stash and uh, to see each other's ideas, you know. So uh, this week is, I think it's, I'm so excited about it because can you believe we're halfway through already for one thing. And, uh, oh yes, let me mention there's options down below all of the prompts too to give you more, <laughs> more ideas if you need them of things to use from your stash. So yeah, we try to, to, um, you like name, put things as the prompts as things that you, that pretty much everybody probably has in their stash, but then there's options down below. So there's got, you know, there's so much to choose from, from the whole list. But uh, this week is greeting cards, playing cards, and flash cards. So yeah, this was, this, this was a fun, this is a fun week. So um, I'm working on a journal this week. It's right here. This one that I showed you before. That was one I had sitting around for the last year, <laughs> and I, I was um, trying to figure out how I wanted to bind it. So I finally did, and you know I've got it bound now with a couple layers of fabric and trim. And so I this week I went ahead and got the signatures ready, and so I've got three signatures ready to sew in. But I used this journal to demonstrate how you use these things in your journal. The greeting cards, the playing cards, and the flash cards. And there's so many, 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 many more ideas. But I just um, kind of just grabbed my, my some playing cards and I grabbed uh, some of the things I had sitting around. Some scraps and things and some decorations, you know, like stickers and things. And just kind of like, just put things together. <laughs> so... Uh, let's start with, let me see what I have first here in the journal. Let me see. Uh, I think I have this upside down. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. I just was, I, w I had all the pages ready and I just now put the covers on, uh, which is, you know, cardstock on a cover on each of the signatures. So <laughs> I was like moving things around. But, um, so let's see, what do I have here as far as, so uh, I'm just going to go in, like flip through it. Like here's an envelope I used when I went into my, I have a drawer here in my craft room with cards and envelopes. So I found this envelope in there and I thought it was so pretty. So I put that in here and let's see what else. Okay. So, um, I really had a lot of fun with my playing cards. So let me just take this out here. These are a couple of playing cards here, but I'll show you those in a second. So I made, I had a scrap piece of paper here and I put two belly, I sewed two, um, I made a belly band and I sewed two playing cards onto it. You can see they're the regular, um, these are the playing cards I got out right here. Uh, just to, you know, because I wanted to challenge myself not just to use a pretty, you know, flowery, whatever playing card. I wanted to ch challenge myself to use these plain ones that maybe I don't use so much. You know, they're red and they're blue. So... That's what I did. I sewed two onto here, as you can see, on a strip of, this is cardstock. So I've got a belly band here where I can tuck something. But then I only sewed, I only sewed the playing cards on the top and the bottom too, right? Like here and here. So now these are actually also kind of like belly bands. So then I took it a step further and took two of the, see these are the blue ones of course. And here's a couple of red ones where I had a piece of scrap, like I said, I grabbed some scrap paper. And I had a piece of white cardstock here, so I glued them down the, uh, you know, the, the other side down to white card, this white cardstock scrap that I had here. And so now we have writing uh, room on the back. So my idea was to 
make them into journaling cards. So then I took um, some ephemera that I had here and put some little decorations. So this one says shine. And this one says, I've got sunshine on my mind. So that then they actually fit right into my little playing card belly bands. And I'll get something else to put there. Because today I was just focusing on the, th the prompts, right? <laughs> so let's see what else did I do in the other signatures. Oh, here's a greeting card. So you can, of course, use greeting cards in your journals as pages. Now, this was a cool one. I was looking for a bigger one. Like, you know, since you see the size of this right here, right? So I was looking for a bigger one to use in here as pages, you know. And I found this one. So this one is actually, let's see, where does it fold out? Yeah, oh, it folds out like this. Hold on like this. <laughs> it's a trifold. I didn't even, I yeah, I didn't realize I even had this. So it's a beautiful old vintage uh, Mother's Day card, never used. And so here's one flap and then you open up and you've got all of this drilling room and you turn the page and if you go back to where the other side is, the other side is also very beautiful and has a beautiful sentiment on here. Oh, it is used. I didn't see that. It's so light. Hold on. What does it say? Lisa Lee and Lizbeth. Lizabeth. It's a very light, almost looks like maybe it's red more red pen, but it looks like red pencil almost right here. So if you get this journal, you could put something there. I could put something there, but I'm not going to. It's actually very um, neat writing, and the only reason it maybe look a little messy is because it looks like Lizbeth or Elizabeth. It starts with an L, not an E. She wrote her name up over the flower here, <laughs> so she didn't want to write through the flower. So um, anyway, very neat writing, and it might even be able to be erased, but I'm going to leave it, and here's the back of that, and that's an American Greetings card. So um, that's an example of how one way, you know, one of the many ways you can use greeting cards. And then while I was in that drawer, I found, looking for cards, I found this beautiful card. I thought I would use this in this journal. It's an invitation card, you know, never used, and I thought it was so pretty, so I put in here as a journaling space, and uh, the envelope, there's another card that this envelope came with, so I got have that card out in here, I'll show you in a second, but I went ahead and put the envelope here, for I can put something in, in the envelope, this card, this card did not come with this envelope, so it's a little bit big, but you could put a card in there, I might put a card in there later, I don't have anything in there right now, but I left the back of the card open as a pocket, so I've got a, like a double pocket there. And this is a really pretty flap that could also be decorated, or, you know, the whole thing could be decorated. Then, let's see what else did I do with our playing cards and greeting cards and flash cards. <laughs> so I don't want to show you all the journal yet because it's not done. So, okay, here I put a flash card, a little one, and use it as a corner tuck. I added a couple of butterflies right down here. This is my little butterflies that I punch out um, that I send along with a lot of my journals in the goodie, goodie pack. So I put two of them right here. And this little red one right here is actually, I showed you this in one of my videos, but in case you didn't see it, I used one of my butterfly, butterfly punches to punch butterflies out of playing cards. And that is what this little red one is right here. I just want to make sure you can see that because it's kind of small, but right there little red playing card butterfly punch and then I was working on um, uh, I was uh, I was okay so I I showed you these in my organization video that I need to use up and I committed to using them up this week and they're little pages from a notebook that I folded all of them all of them into the, the book size I want to make so they're all folded like this for pages of a little booklet. And they're, they're uh, let's see, how many did I put in here? Three, I think. Three papers. One, two, three. See, and you open up, there's three papers, but fold them in half. That's six pages. And if you count both sides, that's actually 12 surfaces to write in one of these little books. That's a lot, right, for a little book? So uh, as I was cutting my scraps and making other things, I noticed that some of them were the perfect size to cover one of these little sets of pages and then I thought well let me see what I can do uh, to make a little and I made little uh, playing card journals before actually with my cinch and uh, something like this where I put fabric 
even made a little spine. So uh, as I was using my scraps and I noticed I had some that would fit over these little book pages, I decided to try to make a little booklet like this. So uh, it, it actually, um, what I, you know, what I intended to use to cover those, and I still might use some of them, but I intended to use cardstock because it's a little sturdier, right? But I had some papery uh, scraps here, you know, from paper, more papery type scrapbook paper. And so I took a piece that would fit over the book pages. I glued a playing card on each side like this. And then I, on this one, I put a little, it says memories right there, a little uh, a piece of ephemera that I glued down. It's not a sticker. It was in, a, in an ephemera pack. So that's right there. And then I sewed, to, you know, one of my group's little pages and just sewed down the middle there. And so that made my little booklet. And I like to leave the strings on these. But if you ever get one from me and you don't like the strings, you can cut them off. But I kind of, for some reason, on these little book, booklets, I like to leave the strings. And I just tucked that right into that little flashcard pocket. So let's see, what else did I do? That's the second signature. Okay, so this signature too, out of my card drawer, my greeting cards and envelopes, I pulled this little pocket. So this and this were together. And when I showed you, I showed you these in my Thrifty Thursday and they were together. This was on top of this and it was all together here, here, and here as a little pocket. And it came with a little card that you put in the pocket and then you put it in that envelope I showed you. That turquoisey bluish one back here that I just showed you with the pretty flap. This one here. That did this and that little card came with those envelopes in a little set. And you're supposed to, I guess, write on the card and then put it in this little pocket and then put it in that little envelope. Uh, so it was a cute little set that I picked up at a thrift store. But when I got the little, these little pockets, I took, first of all, I just took one side apart. So when I took it out of my drawer today, it was together like this, like a double pocket. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it as a little card. If I leave these together, I could use it as a little card, right? It, would, it opened like that. So it could be a journaling spot, but today I wanted to use it as a pocket. So I cut this piece off, glued this right here, and then I made another little uh, journaling card out of a flash, out of a playing card. So this one I also used a piece of white cardstock on the back. This is a little piece of ephemera. It says choose to live and a pretty flower. It was just all, I was going to, if it was, if there wasn't a flower on here, I would have added one, but the, this was the perfect piece of ephemera. It fit here over this center part perfectly. It had words on it already, and it had these blue flowers, so I was like, well, that's perfect. And then I took another scrap and made, I was going to get some ribbon, and I was like, let me try one of these little scraps in here, and I used my other little slot hole punch, I did a little slot hole punch there, used this little paper scrap through there as a little topper. I just glued it together, you know, made it the made it the size I wanted it, and then just folded it down and glued it together right there. So you have a little journaling card at, made out of a playing card that fit in this pocket right here. <laughs> I had fun, didn't I? <laughs> and then uh let's see. I think there's something else. Let me see what else. Oh, right back here. Okay, so here I took another scrap and made a pocket which I sewed on. You can see the stitching. And before, before I sewed it on, I sewed this playing card onto the scrap. Okay, and I left it open. Let me show you. I left it open, so I just sewed down the two sides here. And it's open through, so it's actually like a little belly band too. It can be a belly band or a pocket. And these are just some scraps I had sitting here, so I made them into two little tiny journaling cards. And I put those in there. So this was the card that came with that little flowery pocket in that pretty envelope with the blue flap or turquoisey flap or teal, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, yeah, this was the little card I showed you in my Thrifty Thursday when I brought these home. And there's a little S up here. I didn't mind the S. I, you know, I, I kind of want, wanted to leave it, but I thought, well, let me decorate it or let me cover it up in case so people can see. You know, if you've never done that or never seen anybody do that, it's 
fairly common, but um, I just took a little flower sticker that I had. It was a bluish, uh, a bluish S anyway, and uh, so I just covered up with a blue flower, and then this hole was already there, that little hole, so I just put a piece of pink lace through it, because these flowers are pink right there, and I rounded the corners. They were squared off. So I rounded the corners, so it looks like a journaling card now, and I added a little flower down here. So you have all this room to write. I didn't decorate it anymore, so you have lots of writing room here. And it, of course, fits in that pocket right there. I think that is all I've done in there. So I was going to show you... Wait a minute, there's one more thing here. Let me put this to the side. Yeah, let me show you this one. So, <laughs> another, there's so many things. Like, I could just go on all day with ideas for playing cards and flashcards and greeting cards. This is really one that um, everybody should have lots of. You, you know, if you search the hashtag stash a treasure after this, after, you know, today or, you know, during this next week or whatever, whenever you have time, you should get tons of ideas from whoever's part participating because this is such a, there's just so many things ideas for each of these three I you know prompts so um, the, this playing card something I've been wanting to do with whatever playing cards paper whatever scrapbook paper is make a little booklet like this so I have this old you know adding machine tape and this is I actually it was taped um, like right when I I hadn't used it this particular one before and it was taped here so today I got it out and I was like going to use it and I realize it has two layers see this I, I saw the white layer like this is the in the yellow is the inside layer let me unwind it a little bit if I can see the oh I guess it was like was it like this I don't know anyway it has two layers so there's a white layer see this there's a white layer and a yellow layer I was like oh my goodness two layers how am I gonna do this <laughs> So I just used, like on this card here, I used a white layer, and I'll show you uh, where I used the yellow layer. So the yellow layer is going to come in handy for the same thing. I could use it for the same purpose I did the white layer today, but I could also use it for backing, uh, for like layering. So that's what I did on this. Let's see, here's the front. Oh yeah, it goes like this. So two playing cards, and I took a, this is a washi sticker which are these right here. I think I got these from Your Creative Studio. These are little washi stickers that look like uh, postage stamps. I just want to show you one off, not, not glued down and not through the glare of the package here. So yeah, see they look like little postage stamps. They're a good size. They're like two and a half by two or something like that. So a pretty little washi sticker that uh, looks like a postage stamp you know you just peel off the back and it's a sticker so I took that and layered it on a piece of that yellow paper I just showed you the yellow receipt paper it's uh, sticking out beyond the little ridges of the stamp a tiny bit and then I glued it down on this playing card and then the playing card I used the white paper on the inside so it just goes like this it's a little accordion of course a lot of people have made these so it's not any new idea or anything but I'm just saying I want I've been wanting to do this for a while and I think I made I made one two I think I made four folds to get this piece this long so you can make it as long or as short as you want but I wanted at least, at least a little bit you know a length, little bit of length and so you have all that journaling space like you just can put this in a journal and pocket and then have all that extra. Here's the back. I just left the back plain. But yeah, I just glued the one fold down here, the one fold down here, and then you have all of this writing room front and back <laughs> you can write on. And so I think those are fun and a fun way to use uh, playing cards. And you can use your pretty one. Your, I'm calling them pretty because you know how we have the ones with the flowers and the you know, I have some ladybug ones and some some with pretty ladies on them and some that look like maps. So, you know, you, we have all the pretty ones, but I wanted to challenge myself to use these kind of plainer, like general everyday playing cards that um, we don't necessarily, I, I don't necessarily look for. I just happen to have some of them, you know what I mean? So, 
So yeah, that's that. So today I was going to just um, make, uh, with the time remaining here, these are just papery scraps. I was going to say about the papery scraps because I was going to use cardstock for these little booklets. But um, I thought, well, if I'm using playing cards on the front, then uh, that it actually strengthens the um, the one I had in the journal. I won't get it out again, but it strengthened that paper. So then, you know, you feel like it's okay. It's not so weak that um, it's going to just rip or something. So let's make a couple of covers here. I've got two pieces of scraps. And so all I did was make sure, let's see, I think this is straight here on this side. So all I did was, and this top right here. So I just put my little paper, my little pages. So you can make your pages if you want to make one of these. Make your pages whatever size you want. Like just go with whatever you have in your stash and use whatever you want to use up as far as paper and pages, use for the pages. You can make this more scrappy. I just happen to have this little notebook that I wanted to use up. So when I was reorganizing my craft room, I found it. And I was like, let me just <laughs> use these papers so I don't have to put them back in my drawer. And so this is about two and three quarter inches wide. Just so you know. And about three and three quarter inches long. That's the pages. So I'm just taking the little paper here. And I'm going to wrap it around. I kind of I don't really need it bigger, but it is a fraction, barely a fraction over there on the side to make sure it's long enough. Okay, so I've got my width. Let me cut this little strip off here. And this one I thought I would put a little uh, red card on the front because I used a two a, a blue cards on the other two booklets there that I showed you, the one with the accordion, the one in the journal. So let's get the length now. So this one I can look out like this, get my length. It doesn't need to be, I didn't like leave any room at the top, just make it, I just make it even, even with the top, even with the bottom. Not really any reason, and unless you want to, to leave any room for your cover. And uh, I'm going to cut that little piece off. And then I'm going to get two of my, I'm going to round the corners first here because my pages, you don't have to round your quarters, but my book, little book pages that I have already prepared have rounded corners. So let's round the corners. And then we're going to get two, what I said I was going to use red on this one. So let me get two red ones. These are bicycle playing cards, just in case you want poker playing cards. I think some of them are a little bit not as wide as these. I think these are a little bit wider. And so anyway, we're going to glue these down like this. I thought the red would look pretty on red, and it does. <laughs> look at that. That is so pretty. So then I, I used, because these are shiny, I used, on all the playing cards, I used Fabri-Tac. And it worked very well. It's very nicely glued down, and I didn't have to sand them or anything. I didn't have to sand my playing cards. You know, some people, depending on what you do with them, you might have to sand them a little bit to take off some of that slick surface. But I haven't had to do that with using the, you know, with this particular things that I've been doing with using the uh, playing cards today. So there's our front. I just try to make sure it's straight, <laughs> you know. If it's not, it's all right. You know, makes just makes it look more handmade and charming if you don't have your playing card straight. Uh, I'm not. I'm not paying it. I know some people collect certain, certain uh, <laughs> playing cards and stuff like that. But um, for this particular thing, I'm just not paying attention to what's on the other side. Uh, so there's another one for the back. So now. Now it's nice and sturdy. You can still, after you get this done, you can still sew. I sewed, after I had it all together, I sewed down the middle. No problem going through my sewing machine or anything. So my little pages will be in here. Like that. And I think I left some little labels here for myself to put on here. 
Let's see if we can find one we like. Hello, you. This one says there's a pink one. Let's see. Let's see which one looks nice. I think this hello, you right here looks good. These were in a in an ephemera pack that I have. So they're just perf perforated in the middle. Of course, you can cut them if you want. The other one just snipped right off with the perforation, so I'm trying to do that again. Okay, and I just put a little wherever you wherever I want it. Hello, you. With an again Fabri-Tec because we're gluing down to a slick surface surface there, and that's it. Besides sewing down, which I'm not going to do right now, I showed you the other one though. Just a straight stitch right down the middle. You can do a little two or three pamphlet stitch if you want to do that. You know, just by hand. Or um, if you have a stapler uh, that will reach over to the middle here, just put a couple staples in there if you want. But uh, I think that's pretty cute, <laughs> you know, pretty adorable. And then I was going to try to make one out of this. Let's see, I've got my brand, my branding strip on here. But let's see if we can make another one real quick here. You know, I love using up my scraps too. I took these scraps out of my scrap pile that I'm supposed to be putting away this week. So, so I'm reducing my scrap pile before I put it away so I don't have so many. So I think um, this will fit. Let me make sure after I cut off that branding strip. Let's see if this will still fit on here. Oh, you know what? It's not going to fit on here. This one's a little bit too small. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not quite straight. I th I, actually, I think I just cut off too much. So hold on, let me go get another scrap. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed another scrap here real quick. This one's plenty big enough. It's been uh, coffee dyed. So let's cut this one down. Let's see, let's put it right here. So yeah, you can make these pretty quick and use up a bunch of your scraps. Use up your, you know, use scraps for the pages, use scraps for the cover. And use up some of your plain cards, like these plain ones, if you want, or use your pretty ones. And you just have to go with the flow as far as what your plain cards matches, what scraps, you know, that type of thing. But it can be done. Uh, so let's see how we did here. Let me make sure this is squared off here. Okay, that looks straight. Now we're going to cut the length again, about right, right there, okay, so and around my corners, we'll see how this one looks, this has got some pretty kind of muted flowers on it, and uh, this is from my paper studio. Uh, paper pad that I recently brought home. I've used some of this in journals and these were scraps and uh, I actually coffee dyed e either coffee dyed or avocado dyed a whole those big things of scrap of paper. I did dye the whole because they all have white backs so I dyed the whole thing. So let me show you what this is going to look like real quick. My time is about up. I think I can do this really quick if I, if I Concentrate here for a second and <laughs> don't fool around. So yeah, we've got a red here. And see it covers up most of the scrap anyway. So you just I just kind of quickly said, Will this look good with this? And I said, Yes, it will. I thought it would, so just matched it up really quick. Try to make sure I got some glue in the corners there. So we do not have any problems with it not being glued down. And I'm trying to make sure it's straight. And now I will sew it off camera, but to pick out a little, a quick little uh, word here or title for my book. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. This best friends. I don't know. That kind of clashes. Let's see what this green one. There's a green one and a blue one. I don't think this little apricot, I guess I'm going to use my scissors on there because it's going to take too long for me to fold it back and forth. Just want to make sure I cut it straight. 
and then let's go ahead and fold it a little bit and get it going there. And so let's see what this green looks like on the red. I think I, I, I think I'm going to end up using either the green one or the blue one, or none at all. If they don't look good, I'll just have to get one later. <laughs> but I wanted to give you the general idea. And on this one, I might. That's a vintagey looking piece of paper, so I might um, I might uh, ink the edges on this one. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that either. So I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna wait and just make sure of what I want to put on the front because I want it to be right for a journal, you know. And I'll sew these pages in, but you get the idea. Here's the other one. See how good that looks. See, I want this one to look that good. Or you don't have to put anything on there. You could just leave it like that because that is really pretty. But I'm going to look for something probably to put on there that I like as much as this one. So anyway, uh, that's my ideas and, and fun for today. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to check out Susan, Helen, and Maria because they all come. they all have great ideas. They're very artistic and creative, and I'm sure... They're going to all be doing something completely different from, them, from me. So it's so awesome to see everyone's ideas. And search the hashtag. I've been doing that and I'm trying to find everyone's videos. So, yeah, I've seen lots of great videos and lots of great ideas in the last few weeks. So participate if you'd like to. We would love to have you. Don't forget to sub subscribe, like, and comment. And hit the bell on my channel and all the channels if you wouldn't mind. And help us all out. And we'll see you in our next video. Have a great day.